And still on matters, bilateral trade, President Uhuru Kenyatta has warned that the current trade war between the United States and China threatens to plunge the world back into Cold War economics. Speaking during a forum organized by the Atlantic Council President, President Kenyatta said Africa will not be drawn into the standoff but will instead seek independent trade deals with both parties. Over the last three years, tensions between the United States and China have escalated over the imbalance of trade between the two commercial powers. The tensions further escalated in 2018 when President Donald Trump began setting tariffs and other trade barriers against China. It is these tensions that President Kenyatta says threatened to kickstart a new Cold War. In many parts of Africa, an authoritarianism arose that exploited the Cold War to entrench itself. Our leaders fail to succeed in building strong economies. And we watched as Asian countries that had started off poorer than some of us became rich in less than two generations. President Kenyatta further warns against the imposition of political ideologies on African countries, saying that each nation has the right to choose its own system of governance. That I do not mean we should agree that authoritarian or dictatorial regimes that announce themselves should be taken at their word. The point is that we must give countries the room to engineer new approaches that support and extend democracy in line with their respective realities. According to President Kenyatta, African leaders are willing to chart their own course in both trade and leadership. Today, there is a marked desire among a good number of my fellow African leaders to seek decisive change in how Africa engages the world. We want partners who are walking in the same direction as we are. The president says that the West and Asia need to change their view on the continent, saying that the continent is not up for grabs by any political or economic power. Indeed, I've noticed in the conversations in uh, Western countries and their counterparts in Asia and the Middle East, a return to competition over Africa. In some cases, weaponizing divisions, pursuing proxy actions, and behaving like Africa is for the taking. Well, I want to tell you it is not. President Kenyatta, however, warns that there are various risk factors facing the continent, with inequality and unemployment driving the continent's growing youth demographic towards extremism. Millions of us are unemployed and unable to match their expectations. It is an unsustainable situation. And if this reality does not change quickly, we will produce in Africa many security crises that will leave no corner of this globe untouched. President Kenyatta, who is in the United States to meet with political and business leaders, made the remarks during a forum organized by the Atlantic Council where he pledged to support and create new business linkages with the African diaspora and American business community. Henry Gedaiga, KTN News.